guys, it's Sylvia, Beauty Junkie824, and I am coming to you today with my week 30 through 32 post-op VSG video. Um, today is Wednesday, April 18th, 2012, and this is my uh, information about the goal video. Um, I hit my goal this morning. It's been a pretty emotional day for me um you know a lot of a lot of just excitement and uh i mean i believe it but you know everything about this whole journey sometimes is you know surreal and you know it just um yeah it's just been something that sometimes seemed like it just kept getting further and further away you know as my weight loss would slow down or and everything and um, I, I've seen it steadily moving in the right direction over the last couple of weeks but uh, I don't think you're ever really prepared for when you actually hit that goal that achievement that you have had set in mind you know and you think about all the time and uh, I don't know it's just it's a uh, a feeling I've not felt before. Um, not to say that I haven't reached goals, but I don't know if there has been a goal in my life, aside from getting my license to do hair and everything, but like something that was just personal, that wasn't finance driven, that was just purely emotion and spirit and want and need and just a personal, personal goal. Um, I don't think that there's anything in my life that I've ever achieved that could even come close to this. So before I get emotional, um, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, it's just, I feel wonderful. And so all day long today, I have been like crying in amazement at myself, you know, um, and then just that now I, I've proved to myself that I really can do anything that I set my mind to. So that is really something that is exciting. Um, so how did I get to my goal <laughs> over the last three weeks since I haven't checked in with you guys? Um, as you know, I've had, I had a really stressful March. I know I didn't really go into details about it, but... Um, my husband had lost his job and, you know, we, we just moved in December. So, you know, it was a lot of, a lot of stress because although I work, I don't make nearly enough to support our family and, you know, um, unemployment and all of that stuff takes a really long time and it's so much less, you know, than what you're actually making. And, you know, we were just hoping that things would turn around and I lost focus a little bit through March, you know, um, definitely was distracted by all of the things that were going on and what steps we were going to take to make things better. So, um, there were a few times in there where, um, this goal seemed really like not on the back burner, but kind of on the back burner. I mean, it is something that I still, every single day I got up, I worked out every single day I logged my food, every single day I got my water, but, you know, maybe I ate a little bit more than usual. Actually, no, that's a lot of it. I did, I ate a lot more. I was, you know, emotionally consoling myself and I tried to limit that as much as possible, but, you know, when everything else around you seems like it's out of control, sometimes, uh, I don't know, something shifts in your brain and that is what was going on with me. So over those, um, over March, I saw a lot of fluctuation. A lot of fluctuation, one, from 145 down to 138 and all throughout there. Um, mostly above 140, I saw 138 once. So um, yeah, that was a big thing. And then once I kind of realized that everything is going to be okay, we're doing what we have to do on our end, you know, um, 
we had our rent covered, so I have a roof over my head and my family's head. You know, once I kind of got to that point, I was able to start focusing a little bit more so um, on me uh, and, and my goal that I had been working on for over a year now. Uh, so that was, you know, it was uh, good to get back on track and everything like that. I still was struggling a little bit with the eating, but I was working out a lot more to kind of compensate for the fact that I knew I was kind of going overboard some days. When I say overboard, that's to me eating, you know, 1100 calories or so. Um, you know, so yeah, I was dealing with that. Um, and now I've just kind of tried to get back to basics, kept up with my 30 day shred. I finished my 30 day shred, um, this Monday actually. And I definitely give that video a lot of credit towards helping me get to my goal. Um, I did it every single day on top of my cardio and um, I lost 11 and a half inches total off of my body, uh, about seven pounds on Monday when I weighed in. Um, two and a half of those inches were off my hips and 1.75 inches were off my waist. So uh, I get to go try on size six jeans this week, so that will be really exciting for me. Hopefully they fit, <laughs> but my eights are starting to fall off, so that's a good thing. Um, and thank you to my new subscribers. I'm sorry I haven't made a video recently. Uh, like I said, I had a lot going on and I just wasn't really able, I wasn't able to focus on YouTube, that's for sure. Um, I wasn't making my videos. I wasn't able to watch any videos over the last couple of weeks. So I apologize to everybody for not keeping up and keeping in touch. Um, but yeah, one other major goal that I achieved was Easter this year. Okay, so last year was my family's first annual family softball game on Easter. And that was a pivotal day for me because that was the day that we walked from my mom's house to the school that's around the corner. And I was in so much pain and out of breath and out of shape that Number one, I couldn't participate in the softball game, but um, number two, I just, I sat the whole time because my back was killing me just from walking around the corner. Um, it's probably maybe, maybe a third of a mile or something like that, maybe a half a mile tops to get there. And on that day, when I wasn't able to participate, and I was sitting with all of my aunts that are older than me, um, and I, I, something clicked in my head, and that is when I decided that I was going to change my life, um, that I was gonna start losing the weight and everything. So, that was a really important day for me last year, an even more important day for me this year, because this year, I was able, sorry, I was able to play the softball game and I was able to field the ball, I was able to catch the ball, I was able to hit the ball, but I was able to participate and play with my kids and my kids were so excited and they couldn't believe that I could catch the ball or I could hit the ball and that was a really, that was a really big goal too for me. So with that, on top of that today, like I said, I'm sorry, it's been a really emotional day, but I did want to get on here and share that with you. And I made my dance video, so I hope that you guys will dance along with me. Misty Lovely, I put a little wop in there for you. And Stephanie, I hope you're gonna shake it. Um, Anyways, I guess that's it for today, and I'm sorry about the tears and everything, but um, I will, uh, I'm definitely going to keep checking back in. You guys are gonna be following me along through maintenance. I'm not gonna just give up on YouTube now that I've hit goals, so I just wanna make sure you guys know that, and um, also, I'm still, every day, nothing's changing. Now it's just maintenance. That's the only thing that's changing, but food and exercise is gonna stay the same. So I will check back in with you guys Monday. I hope you have a great week, bye.